how your team kind of fought trying to get that equalizer late in the game? Uh, very proud of the lads, very proud of the group. I thought um, for big sections of the game we got on top when we created some really good chances. Um, unfortunately, cop off a refle uh, deflection for their goal. Um, but yeah, disappointing because I thought we could have at least tied the game, but even at times I thought we were good enough to win it. Um, but you know, they're a, they're a solid team that came in here with a, <laughs> with a good reputation and we, uh, I think we gave as good as we got. I guess with the offensive, how do you feel like your team played in that, the offensive half and then just kind of missing some chances there? Well, I mean, the team in general played very well. They stuck to the game plan. Yeah, um, did really well um, tactically. In the final third, we were poor. Right, we had chances to win it and we didn't. And that's that's what if you don't put your chances away, you, you struggle to win games. And then they go down and off a set piece, get a deflection, and they one 0 down. So yeah, I mean, we were disappointing in the final third. There you go. But I'm still very proud of everything we created and done. Some missed chances on some through balls and passing it might not have been crisp. How much of that's just 18 new guys trying to kind of figure each other out early in the season? Uh, I mean, we can keep using that excuse, but it's legitimate that they just don't read each other very well yet. The, you know, the nuances and the movements off the ball and triggers and stuff. It's, it'll come, and I'm proud of them. And I, like I said, I thought they did great. And, you know, if you look at the, probably the turnovers in the final third, we're due to time and more than lack of quality, so, yeah. And this was what was a big improvement compared to last year's. As you continued to develop a winning um, mentality for this team, how important was this result for you in the program? Well, the result wasn't what we wanted. We lost. Um, but to be able to challenge the number one team in the country, create chances, and not allow them to have many chances was a big step forward in the progress of the team, the progress of the program. Um, we can use it as a you know a springboard to go back to and see when we did this. So at the end of the day, um, we're disappointed again not to win or tie the game. Um, but as far as the team goes, the team's in a great place. They worked tirelessly tonight to the game plan and I'm very proud of them. And with, you know, the rivalry game against Clemson, Stone Stadium was filled to the brim. All the seats were filled, and there were even fans standing behind the goals and around the concourse. So how important was it for, you know, the team to, you know, play off of that electric atmosphere? Because you could hear the fans roaring any time your team did anything. Ah, oh, it's superb. I mean, this has got to be one of the best atmospheres in college soccer. Has to be. There's 6,000 people in here tonight bouncing, and it was great, and it was, they were behind the team. and. It's, I mean, that's what we want. We want it to be exciting, we want it to be entertaining, and we want it to have a good time. That's what it's about, having fun. And uh, I think the fans had fun, and I think the team enjoyed having that atmosphere of uh, electric fans right behind our team.